describe the archaeological method is background research. Background research is when the archaeologist finds as much information as they can about what they are digging for. They do background research before they start digging. This is because the archaeologist needs to know where to dig and what they are digging for. This step is very important because without it, you probably wouldn't find what you're digging for. The excavation process is the, is the second step in the archaeological method. In this step, the actual digging takes place. In order to dig, we, a permit is required. Safety is very important in this step. To dig, we use a brush to lightly go over the sand and rock. Another reason we use the brush is to make sure we don't break any of the very important artifacts. Each member in the group has a very important defined role that makes the dig happen. A grid plan is used to locate where each artifact is found. For example, in C3, we found a piece of wood. And in A2, we found a chisel and a donkey bone. The third step to discovering an artifact is analysis of findings. This is the most important step because you're finding out what the artifact is. You would ask questions like, what is it, how old is it, what is it made of, and did they make it or trade it? During this process, you must be very careful you don't break the artifact because you could lose all information about that time period in history. Scientists on average spend 10 hours in the lab looking at it and analyzing it and what it could be and where it's from. Without this step, you can't proceed or do anything without, with the artifact. Um, that's step four of the archaeological method. This step is called publication. I'm getting the word out there, letting the industry reporters at CNN and on the artifacts we have found. The Egyptian caravans and ancient trading routes between Egypt and other African countries around it have not just disappeared. There are still remains of them in the Nile Valley in Nubia. Thank you. Bye. Hi, I'm Danny, and today I will be explaining the final step in the archaeological method, preservation. Now, I know it seems like a very unimportant step that really doesn't seem necessary, but what happens if you find an artifact, analyze it, and then leave it at the back of the room unprotected? Well, there are some things you can do to prevent this. Wrapping or freezing can be some great ways to prevent any material or tissue from getting decayed. Just as doing something as simple as wrapping an artifact up or putting it in a, in a climate controlled area could be the difference between a huge step forward in history or a big step back. It's your choice.